Now, Australia's media landscape is changing dramatically this week. We've had two major announcements from the country's biggest newspaper companies, Fairfax and News Limited. Now, yesterday, Rupert Murdoch's company detailed its plans to expand much further into pay television with a bid for James Packer's share in Foxtel and Fox Sports Australia. To discuss the implications of all of this, we're joined in Sydney by Paul Barry. He's the senior writer at the Power Index. Paul, good morning to you. This is Rupert Murdoch in Australia essentially doing what he's done overseas, pivoting to the much more lucrative areas of both pay TV and sports. That's right. If you look at um, News Corporation worldwide, it makes about $5 billion profit. And 80 to 90 per cent of that is now made in cable TV and, and movies and, and, and television. And so we think of the newspapers as being fantastically important and absolutely huge, but they're a very small amount, a very small part of News Limited, and this is um, of News Corporation. And this is certainly cementing that process of moving into cable TV and so on. Now, somebody who's chronicled the Packer family for so many years, there's a fair bit of history involved here, isn't there, in these Foxtel and Fox Sports stakes? That's right. Um, the Packers only got them as a result of the Super League battle over TV rights for Rugby League and pay TV back in the 90s. And the settlement eventually was, uh, to, to try and make the war go away, uh, was that Rupert would hand over his um, half of his 50% share in Foxtel and half of his whole ownership of Fox Sports. And he regretted it ever afterwards because he thought he'd, um, he'd given it away far too cheap. And strangely enough, uh, Kerry Packer was not very happy about it and didn't really want to take up the option in Foxtel and had to be railroaded by his board and by James. It was the first time I think he ever got beaten in one of these decisions. And he stormed out of the, the board meeting, having uttered a couple of profanities and told them all to F off. <laughs> and, well, 15, minutes, 15 years later, it turns out to be a very sweet deal, close to $2 billion, for James Packer. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what, um, I haven't actually done the figures, but they've, they've made something close to $2 billion out of it. They did pay something for it back in the, back in the 90s, but not a lot. So it's, it's been a fantastic deal. And this really also uh, underscores the fact that James Packer is moving well away from media. The only stake he now has is a 9% or so stake in the 10 network. He sees his future in both gaming and entertainment. Uh, that's right. And... When you, when you look at what the, the big decisions that James has made over the years, they have generally been really good. Um, it, it was his basic idea to move into casinos. He was much keener than Kerry. It's his idea to move into pay TV, much, t much keener than Kerry. Uh, both of those are very, very good decisions. And you'd have to wonder whether, whether Rupert Murdoch is making the right decision uh, buying this bit of Foxtel. Look, I guess um, uh, Kim Williams, the man who's, who's pushed him into doing it, knows more about Foxtel than anybody else because he ran it for quite a long time. That's right. And Murdoch himself knows a huge amount about pay TV, so you'd guess they'd be right. But in the past, it's, not, it's often not been a good decision to buy something the Packers are selling. Yeah, and, and the question can be raised, is pay TV in Australia um, a mature business that the subscriber levels have been hovering around the, what, the 33 35% level for, for years now? Uh, yes, and I, I, I mean, I think it's, look, it's making a couple of hundred million dollars profit a year. Kim Williams is obviously very um, convinced that he can make, uh, make more out of it, and I guess there would be some synergies with the print business. That's what they were looking at in, in, in Britain. Um, Kim Williams would know, I'm sure. Kim Williams is a very smart guy. He was very impressive yesterday, I thought. Mm. And, and he apparently went to the board uh, of News Corp in the States to persuade them that this was a good move. It, it doesn't appear to have come from Rupert himself. It was Kim Williams who drove it. Um, they know an awful lot about this business. You'd have to, you know, they know a lot more than I do. And uh, you'd have to think they're probably right. And just finally, very quickly, uh, just going back to the Packers, what would Kerry Packer be thinking now that uh, his uh, family name is all but out of the media business? Look, I think he'd be very sad. Um, he was very sad when, when, you know, the family got out of the Telegraph. He was very sad when they sold Channel 9. I think he'd be very sad they were out of TV. And uh, one thing I guess it does, is, or, or has done for James, is that it's taken away his political power, the political power of the Packers. I think um, Kerry would be sad to see that go too. James, uh, Paul Barry in Sydney, thank you very much. Pleasure.